Gunther, intercontinental heavyweight champion. I like that addition. Uh, currently the third longest reigning in WWE history. Incredible. How are you today, sir? How are things over in Detroit? I'm very good. Can't complain. How are you? All right. Thank you. Yeah. All the better for, for seeing you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling ahead of tomorrow night's SummerSlam? Ford Field, obviously a massive stadium show for the biggest party of the summer. Gunther versus Drew McIntyre. Uh, you must be excited for this one. I'm very excited, actually. I feel well prepared. And I think that's a match that Drew and I wanted for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. What, what can fans expect from this one? Because obviously we've already seen you and Drew and Sheamus tear it up at, at WrestleMania in an absolute barnstormer. How can you top the brilliance of that match when it's just one-on-one? -on -one, or do you prefer uh, a singles match? Um, I definitely prefer a singles match. Like I think the triple threat turned out fantastic for the fact that I don't like doing them. <laughs> but my least preferred uh, match stipulation if you want to call it like that um but yeah i think with drew it's going to be very interesting because usually i'm taller and heavier than my opponents are and i think drew's got a few inches on me and a few pounds as well so um, have to see which route i have to go to get to him um but i think people can expect a very physical bout i think and yeah lots of excitement action uh, exciting action i'm sorry yeah um and that that three way. I, I mean, um, firstly, why don't you like triple threats? What is it about that stipulation that you're not a fan of? Plastic wrestling matches, one on one, or a tag team match, or maybe a six man tag. That's all okay. Everything outside of that, we're in the entertainment world. <laughs> okay. Um. So that just talking about that match a little further. The three way in LA. It was awarded five stars by Sir Dave Meltzer. Is that? sort of thing on your radar at all people have such differing uh opinions when it comes to Meltzer reviews is that something you put much stock into and and do the other guys and girls backstage think about that kind of stuff um I mean if you get it awarded at the end because a lot of people listen to him and um yeah follow his opinion uh or respect it so it's nice to get it um but because it represents a little bit the approval of the like diehard wrestling fans, if that makes sense. But at the end of the day, I think in general, when people are really into something, they like to compare, they like to rate it and stuff like that. Um, and that's fine. Everybody can do that. But if it's not a concern, like I never go out there and go like, I do this today, so I get five stars or something like that. If that's, that's a byproduct of if everything goes well and people enjoy it and you get a rating like that that's cool but it's not the that's none of the things i go out there and be like it's that's what i have to achieve today i i guess presumably for you it is that it is that crowd reaction that that live reaction from the arena or the stadium in that case that that really gets you going in the ring it is and at the end of the day to be honest i when i walk out there i want to win that match that's what i'm focused on then that's what, how I want to act in that ring it's like as somebody who is in there to win it and if the reaction of the audience is positive towards that and I enjoy it when I'm in the ring that's great um but at the end the first task is to go in, on there and put on a performance to yeah go out winning well, you've been winning a lot uh, over the last year or so. Your IC title reign has been incredible. You you will surpass uh, Pedro Morales if you defeat Drew McIntyre. And then only Honky Tonk Man left uh, to beat. He held the gold for 454 days. If that happens, and I sincerely hope it does, what does that celebration look like for you? I have no idea yet. So <laughs> that's something literally... I never really worried about that record and stuff like that. But since it's so close now, it's like, come on. Now it has to happen now, right? Um, stay in, in the history books, in the history books as number one. But um, I don't know how the celebration would look like. In general, it's very hard to digest a lot of things that happen, if that makes sense, because everything happens very fast. Um, maybe it's going to be like that if that's achieved as well. Um, I think all those sort of accolades are going to be something that yeah 
years from now when I have some time to relax and yeah, rewatch it and re-enjoy it, if that makes sense. Do you um do you watch your own stuff? Because I, I, I speak to some talents who just won't watch matches back and then others who absolutely have to, which oh, can yeah. you fall into. Most of it I, I watch back, but more like, yeah, I want to look at, I got to analyze myself. I'm always going to be my own best and hardest critic. Um, I think nobody takes the matches apart than I myself would do. So obviously I do that. And what what is next for you? Obviously, you know, we've talked about this amazing intercontinental heavyweight championship reign. You went bell to bell in the Royal Rumble for over an hour. You've gained some incredible momentum and become one of WWE's, you know, top stars over the last year and a half. Surely universal or world title pitcher is the next logical step for you very soon. Is that something that you've been pushing for? Um, I mean, nobody plans to lose a title, right? So I'm plan on being intercontinental champion um forever yeah I mean, nobody plans to lose it um but obviously the end of the year beginning of next year the rumble will be there and if i have the chance to be in that again then i think i'll go into that as a, one of the favorites and yeah that would lead to wrestlemania so we'll see how it goes down are you a are you a, a a sort of what's next guy? Are you always looking ahead, or do you do you try and live in the moment and sort of enjoy what you're doing at that particular time? No, that, like I mean, everybody has their plans for the future and stuff like that, what they want to achieve and stuff. But I really, like you said, it. I really try to fully focus on the moment and what's yeah, what's ahead of me, and try to make the best of that out of that. And then once that's done, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I think it's very important for me to put the, all the energy and focus I have in the moment right now. Um, looking ahead, if you don't mind, one thing that simply has to happen, in my opinion, is Gunther versus Brock Lesnar. And it has to happen in a big marquee way, top of the bill, stadium show in Europe, ideally. Have you requested a match with Brock Lesnar? Oh, I have not requested it, um, but it's definitely something I want to do. Um, I kind of like labeled him as my personal little end boss. Um, that makes sense. I, yeah, I try to be that for most of the other people, the end boss they have to conquer, but um, he's someone that I always looked up to and really enjoyed watching. And I think how he carries himself and handles business and stuff is, I liked it. And yeah, so if that match ever goes down, hopefully in Europe in a stadium, yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, and just to to wrap up for you, when it comes to you personally and your journey in WWE, has the change of creative leadership impacted you uh, and the way you've been presented on TV? Like, has that NXT UK <clears throat> Triple H relationship helped you? Do you think? Oh yeah, I definitely think so. I think I always got on when I signed with WWE. Like the first person I talked to was Triple H back then, and he told me what he sees for me in the future and how he imagines it all and it all falls into place step by step um but that being said i cannot tell how it would have been the other way because uh vince was still in charge when i became the intercontinental champion um so i don't know i never felt i was in a situation of like oh something needs to change here otherwise i will be in danger Okay. Um, very quickly, there seems to be dissension in the works, um, in, in the ranks, sorry, with, with Imperium. If if you had to swap one of the members out and choose somebody new to join the faction, who are you choosing? Oh, it's a little bit of a tough spot. But I got to be honest, I don't think there is anyone. We are together because it was organically formed and because there's a bit of history behind it. And that's the reason I aligned myself with uh, Kaiser and Gio. And I wouldn't, if they wouldn't be here, I would be on my own, I think. Okay, well, Gunther, have an incredible weekend. Best of luck tomorrow night. We will be cheering you and Drew on very loudly from the SummerSlam watch party. Uh, have a great one in Fordfield. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.